Hi, I'm Jennifer Hufford, Senior Editor of Doubleday Book Club. I'm here with Erin Morgenstern, author of The Night Circus, our newest National Blue Ribbon book. Hi, Erin. It's Hi. so nice to have you here. Nice to be here. So, Erin, tell us a little bit about The Night Circus. Uh, the Night Circus is about a Victorian nocturnal black and white circus. Beneath it, there is a competition going on between um, two magicians who were trained since childhood to compete against each other in kind of a one-upmanship sort of battle. At its heart, it's sort of a story about um, love and choice and the shades of gray between the black and white. Now, the chapters, as you tell the story, it jumps between different times and places. Why did you choose to tell the story this way? I wanted the book to feel like the circus, where it was like kind of um, little interludes, and you kind of saw the whole once you'd seen all the pieces. But it was just kind of too messy that way, so I needed to give it more structure. But I liked the idea of having um, the two main plot lines with um, Celia and Marco, and then the Bailey storyline is kind of a counterpoint. And I knew if I did it chronologically, Bailey wouldn't show up for a very, very long time, so I decided to intersperse the Bailey timeline. Celia is so essential to the book, mm -hmm. and I can't imagine the story without her. It wouldn't be the same story. That's why they, there was no story until I found her. When I write, I kind of tend to find a world before I find the story in it. Celia was the last character that I created. Celia is not in any of the original drafts. It is mostly her story, and I didn't have her for the longest time, so it's kind of like um, excavating <laughs> rather than like proper linear writing. Mm -hmm. Do you think that has a relation to the fact that you're also a visual artist as well? Does that impact your writing? I think so I see things. I, I, I see bits of scenes, and I, um, I have images that I'm not really sure what to do with at first, so I have, I collect sort of bits and pieces and then put them together. I almost like collage <laughs> when I write. Did any paintings emerge from the Night Circus or did you paint anything that inspired the Night Circus? I actually tend to say that I um, write what I can't paint and I paint what I can't write, <laughs> but there are kind of little flavors of um, the circus in my tarot deck. The, the Hanged Man card is on the Hanged Man from the Acrobat Tent and things like that. And I have done a few little like sketches of circus tents recently, but like I don't tend to have a whole lot of overlap. Summit Entertainment acquired the rights to make this into a movie. Do you have any hopes or suggestions for the director, or the actors, the casting? I'm trying not to think about it too much because <laughs> it's still a little overwhelming. But um, I'm always a big fan of um, books that become movies where the movie is its own distinct thing separate from the book and they can be appreciated like as a movie like that you don't have to like have read the book so I really want it to be its own thing. A lot of people like, tend to know exactly what actor they'd use for every character and I don't at all except for one um, character, Hector, Celia's father, I always always pictured as Jeffrey Rush. Mm. Like He was the only one who ever had an actor. So You said on your blog that you had gone to um, a reading, a tarot reading, and the psychic told you that you had to choose between writing and your art, and you chose to write. Um, obviously, that went well for you. Will you continue to focus on your writing then? Yes, I'm already working on another book, so it's not book-shaped yet. It's still <laughs> in that exploration stage, but I, I'm, I'm having fun with it. So, Can you give us any hints? Um, it's very different. Everyone keeps asking if I'm going to do something that's like, like the circus. It's very, very different. I, um, it has a sort of Alice in Wonderland meets film noir sort of feel. And I like to say if the circus is kind of very paper influenced, this is very glass. Why did you choose the circus as the stage for your story? The circus is sort of my ideal entertainment venue where it's, it's very it's self-directed. You can choose what to see, you can choose what to do, and uh, you can kind of have a unique experience for each visitor. And there's always something new to explore around hidden corners. The cover design is beautiful, and I think it really encapsulates the novel. You see the circus, it's in someone's hand. Whose hand is this? I think it's kind of up for debate whose hand it is. I think it's probably Celia's hand. Um, I, I had a friend who, as soon as she saw it, she said it, it seemed really appropriate to her because um, it's very precarious, and should she drop it, it would be lost. And that, of course, works in beautifully with what actually happens in the story. Erin, thanks so much for being here. And to all of our book club members, thanks for watching. Hi, I'm Erin Morgenstern, author of The Night Circus, and you can find my book at Doubleday Book Club.